course I would drop my remote before this video start. Nevertheless, let me get this intro out the way, or the pre-intro, the roll before the intro. Got a ton of questions, so I'll be using my phone to answer them. And we're gonna have a rapid fire section section of questions, and then we're gonna have the more in-depth questions. Hope this video is not too long. If it is, I'm gonna have to cut it and edit some of you guys' questions out. No offense, just wanted to be short and sweet. All right, let's get into these questions, man. I appreciate each and every single one of you guys for leaving your comments down below. The comments was ham, man. I appreciate it. I didn't think I was gonna get that much response. I'm in the comment section, man. So you guys asked a lot of questions. Some of them are very redundant. Apparently, you guys didn't come through all the questions to see what was asked prior. Y'all just went ahead and asked the same question three or four times. But nevertheless, you know, I forgive. Let's get right into this video, man, because we don't got much time. Time to transform to Hoodie Frank. Hoodie head video Frank. What's poppin' homies? This is your boy Frank Nitty back in the building in the sneaker office to be exact. Today we're doing a Q&A. That's right, a couple days ago, probably three days as I'm recording this video. I asked you guys, yo, let's do a Q&A. We got nothing but time in the world, man. Literally, everyone got time in the world because we all cooped up in our cribs. So I was like, yo, ask me a few questions and I'll, you know, I'll sort through them and, and answer the most relevant questions. And that's what I did, man. And we're gonna break this up in two sections. Some of these questions require thought and a drawn out reply. I'm not gonna make it too long-winded. And some of it was like short and sweet. So I kind of categorize these questions to like two shorts. I'm kind of do like a rapid fire questions, very, in the very beginning, matter of fact, let's get right into it, man. So that way you guys you guys get the feeling of what's going on. Question. So we said we're gonna do the short first, right? So that's what we about to do. And apologize if I'm out of win. Cause I had to run up these stairs to do this video. Yo, quick note, me and wifey did this together. I insert a clip here. G wants to know best steal or best shoe steal and worst shoe purchase. Mm. The best shoe steal. That's crazy. What's the best shoe steal I cop? I mean, because you know, I do a lot of outlet vlogs, so I be copping shoes from the outlet a lot and I get a lot of steals, man. There were way too much distractions, man, so I had to cut that short, come up here, and continue. You know what I'm saying? When I'm doing these talking head videos, I gotta do Hoodie Frank. But, anyways, let's get right into it, man. Reggie Evans asks Do you think Puma is a good shoe? I don't know. I don't have any. Could be. What's this? Nick the Gamer? Your first shoe. My first shoe was a Nike Cortez all maroon. Even the swoosh was all maroon. Uh, Kevin, your Philly vlogs question? Possibility I got family in that area. So, you know, I could probably pull through do an outlet video or two. Travis, Ablo, or Kanye? I'm biased. We're going to go with the first letter in the alphabet. Let's go Ablo because of these joints right here. These uh, Air Jordan UNC ones off white. Have I gotten the chance to experience the Air Jordan Air Max 200? Funny you ask. Because I rocked this shoe several times, man. This shoe's in heavy rotation. Probably the third time I rocked this shoe. I right, cleaned them once. Dope shoe. Love them. Damar, he asks, what are your favorite sneakers? There's too much to answer, man. My favorite sneaker is the Jordan 1 first and foremost. So any colorway, OG colorway, you can throw that in the mix. That'll be my favorite. Your most expensive purchase. Gotta be these joints. These was 350 plus tax. David Cole asks, which Nike outlet I have been to that I consider the best? The best Nike outlet is probably the best spot you got the most affordable shoe that you wanted. So whatever outlet that could be. For me, it was the Clarence store when it was back in Kissimmee, Osceola. Now it's at the Loop. I got tons of dope deals from there. Uh, most notable was those red metallic foam posit 2017 joints. John asks, who's your favorite musician? Allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is Ho uh, Scott asks, what's my holy grill sneaker? Funny you ask. I have them. Eric Jordan One Bands. APA asks, what shoe you balling currently? KD 12s. Not this colorway and definitely not this size. I wear a left, I wear technically a 12, preferably a 12, but I've been hooping the KD 12s and the black and gray joint with the Glow in the dark household. Midnight asked me, what's my favorite anime? I don't have one. I don't watch anime. Matt, what's your favorite Air Max? Air Max 1. Banana. Banana. Black banana, man. He asked, you play ball in high school? I most certainly did. Ricardo asked, what was my first Jordan? Do I still have it? My first Jordan got beat those UNC Jordan 14s. Uh, it was an outlet pickup, ironically. Sanan, I'm, let's go with Sanan. Sorry if I butchered your name. What, my, what was my first pair of LeBrons? That actually requires some thought. 
I actually know the answer. I just don't know the model. I think it was a soldier, probably one of the best ball and shoes I ever played in. Um, I wish I could find it. If I see it, I probably remember. I just don't know. I know it's a soldier. Potentially it could be a signature. I don't know. And that's it for all the short answer questions, man. Let's get into the other questions. Ironically, it's asked by Frank, not me, someone else named Frank. And he asks, best shoe steal and worst shoe purchase. Best shoe steal has to go to the uh, red metallic uh, foams I mentioned earlier, one of the best outlet pickups. A lot of people ask what's the best outlet pickup. So I'm gonna group that into this question. Sorry, I didn't get to your question specifically, but you can live vicariously through that question. Uh, it gotta be those foam posits, those red joints. Cause I copped them joints for $60. I did a vid about that shoe probably like two years right now. So if I remember, I will link it there if you guys wanna come through and see that video. And the worst shoe purchase. There's a ton of them. Most memorable was probably the uh, the Rodriguez, you know, the low SBs. I bought that, rocked it on the cruise, and I'm kind of flat footed. I was like, man, I never put that shoe on feet, and I got rid of it. I think I took it to Plato's closet. Got got it for twenty dollars though at a clearance store um, on International. Got to be one of the worst. That's why I don't give SB as much loves <laughs> as I do in the outlet because of that experience. But moving on, MS wrote or typed or commented, what pair of sneakers? or your seal grills. Pair of sneakers is my seal grills. So pretty much I'm assuming what's the best pair of shoes you got on sale. I'm gonna have to refer to those red metallic composites, the 2017 joints. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm not even sure if they are the 2017. It could be 2018. I struck out one of them. That's probably the best, most noble shoe that I cop. Someone also asked me, what is the cheapest pair of Jordan ones I ever found? So I might just throw this pair on top of that question as well. So the pair would be the yin and yangs. Caught both those pairs for $34 with minus five dollars off back then when it was doing a five dollar coupon. So I got the yin and yangs both for roughly around $30, man. So those would be my cheapest outlet steel pickup and also on top of that, my cheapest Jordan one. So if I get to this question, we'll just lump into this question. Manu asks, what shoe made you become a sneakerhead? Again, not any particular one. We can throw it back to maybe the Avacins, the questions, the original ones with the red toe box and the blue toe box. And then they start making multiple colors after that. I love them all. I hooped in a lot of them, man. Regret throwing them away, man. Cause they become bulky and heavy and, and I started cutting grass in them. So yeah, probably the Avacins questions. Nusab, sneakers you drop a bag on but regret buying. That's a very good question, man. Now, in other words, what shoe I pay a guap? Some cheddar, some beans. Y'all remember when I used to say beans? Like extended amount. Matter of fact, now I think about it, I know exactly which pair. The Jordan 17 trophy rooms, the all gray joint. It was literally an impulse buy. I remember that day so vividly. If I if I may, if I can make this uh, real short and sweet, hope I don't spend too much time. And I'm already spending too much time. I remember winning the Gatorade Sixes, the Wheat Ones, all on uh, sneakers and stuff. And then I had a chance to get the the Lily the Lily Lily Mays, I believe her name, the corduroy black and gray joint. And I remember I was in line, I was in queue, and I tried to put my credit card in, and it wasn't working. I pulled up to the crib, I swapped off a cellular to jump on Wi-Fi and I lost the whole connection. So I lost that shoe. I was on a streak, man. I already had two shoes purchased and I was going for that shoe and I failed. So in retrospect, I was in Orlando. Let me swing by Tears Nightclub. That's where the trophy room did a pop-up shop for that shoe. And it was past the time that it was gonna sell the shoe. It was probably like 12 o'clock. They was already wrapping it up. And um, I said, let me see if I can get in. They opened the doors for me. So I was, while I was in there, got the sneaker, got him to sign the box, welcome to the family as he wrote, and you put my YouTube channel on there, ball on the budget. So I bought that. I paid two, three twenty-three. That shoe hit the outlets for hundred and fifty dollars in Chicago. Never hit the outlets where I'm from, but I seen it in the Nike outlet in Chicago. But yeah, it's gonna be the trophy room 17s. Dog Channel asks, what made me start YouTube? <laughs> well, to be fair, if I could throw Mike Rich in there, I watched his channel when he was like. Probably roughly around where I'm at as far as subs. I think he's around 50, 40,000 subs. And I was like, damn, uh, this guy go to the outlet. And I was like, bro, I already do that. I said, matter of fact, I can do what he do. Not throwing no shade at Mike Rich. Not saying I can do exactly what he does. Meaning I'm already in the building. The only thing I need to do is just record what I see. And I want to get into video anyway. So I was like, bro, let me do that. So I turn on the camera, I start recording. Ironically, it took a while before I even post my first video. Even if I did post my first video, I actually think the first video I post that I recorded actually was the video I did for my throwback from back in 2016. So the first Nike outlet video I did, I didn't post until this year. If you guys, if I can remember, I posted up here or up here, my first Nike outlet video. 
Much. All right, above this is 119. You can get him for 225. No, bo no box. I see that on GOAT. So we're about moving along. LeBron 12s, yo. These are called the flights. They're in for 150. Now the reseller price is going for 221 right now for that particular shoe. So we about to look at some soldiers. These are the soldiers eight. I'm looking down because I'm looking at the video. They're going for 90. Not too much, um, much on the retail. Well, 221 is the last price I saw. Got the black joints as well. Roughly the same price. Eight nine dollars all black. Ooh, 